Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. In today's video guys, we are going to cover the symptoms of a water flooded engine or water seized engine guys. Now that happens often guys through when it rains or people driving through high water. Even though vehicles nowadays are super uh, developed to the point that you should drive in super deep water okay to water seize your engine. But people sometimes do not think guys and as a result they end up needing a brand new engine so if you're on the market for a car and somebody tells you it needs a starter don't believe them guys we'll show you guys what to check and what to look for a few things that you can check on the spot and you know if that engine's been flooded water flooded or uh it's maybe something something else so let's start on it guys we'll demonstrate on this dodge dart here uh we got it uh, from a car auction and ended up being a water seized engine so we will explain what to look for in addition guys we have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel like the video leave a comment below let us know if the video was helpful let's start on it now Okay, so you get the car guys, okay, you turn the ignition on, you try to start it, and you may hear a click from the starter, okay, like it's trying to turn over, but it's not, and you may seem like it's a bad starter, because it will sound like the solenoid, the starter solenoid will be working, it will be like click, 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 but the starter will not turn the engine, okay, this is the starter, this is the solenoid, and they may tell you, okay, the car just needs a starter, the mechanic told me 500 to replace it, I don't want to mess with it, I bought a new car, blah blah blah, that's, that's not right guys. Okay, always check, first, always check guys your air filter. First thing, open the air filter box and check the air filter. If the air filter looks wet, if it has mold, okay, that car has been through high water guys, it sucked water, water went in the engine, what happens, the water doesn't compress, it bends a connecting rod and the engine is seized guys. The engine is seized to the point that you cannot even turn it over. That's the air intake, okay, where it sucks uh, air, okay, and all that was full of water. Once we removed the air filter box, we were able to check that. And let me show you guys, okay. You want to make sure that you can turn the crankshaft, okay, one revolution. You need to go a whole revolution. In our case, that thing is completely seized, guys. Check it out. We bent the pry bar and nothing, that breaker bar. That engine is water seized. Because as I said, uh, air compresses, but if water replaces the air in the combustion chamber, okay, what's going to happen, that water doesn't compress, and as a result, it bends the connecting rod, breaks uh, crankshaft, it really depends. And uh, as a result, guys, that engine is not going to be able to turn over. How you fix that now? Okay, first you need to take the whole engine apart. You need to replace either crankshaft, connecting rod. Uh, if you do that immediately, guys. If you let it sit for a couple of weeks, okay, that engine, sitting in the box, everything is going to rust, and as a result, you will need pretty much a new engine or enormous amount of money to rebuild yours. You will need to uh, bore it out, put uh, bigger pistons and all that stuff. This one stayed for a while. This one stayed for months and We'll show you guys how much water we're going to get out of that intake. So make sure you stay with us. We're going to show you how much water is still in that intake after a few months of being drowned. So all that water came out of the intake manifold. It was full of water, throttle body. Check it out. Everything's full of water, guys. It's unbelievable. So that's definitely not, not a good thing, guys. Right there. So this is guys the intake manifold, this is throttle body, that's where the air goes in the engine. Water will go through here, it will go through the intake and from there it's going to go directly in the cylinders. Okay, this is your cylinder valves, okay. Check this thing valve, okay that valve. I want to show you how bent that valve, uh, how uh, rusty, excuse me, those valves are. Okay, I'm going to get a directional light. Okay, a little bit of light to show you, okay, how bad that thing is now. Oh yeah, guys, check out, this is rust inside. This rust. This right here, okay, rust and still water in that valve. It's just unbelievable how it still stay there. All of them are done. That, that uh, engine did drink quite a bit of water. So hopefully the video will be helpful, guys, if you're on the market for that. Uh, please, guys. Uh, Please guys subscribe to the channel, we'll have quite helpful videos, we'll, we'll show you quite a few things on our channel, so please guys subscribe, like the video, leave a comment below, let us know if the video was helpful and see you guys next time. 